uh, go ahead, Ben. Give us your review. You want to talk about the iodine? Well, um, I just got it to taste great. Like I said, but actually, uh, the main thing that I wanted to uh, to uh, talk about was uh, one of the reoccurring themes that I always hear people call up and say, what can I do, Alex? What can I do? And it, this is totally, it, it's kind of ironic that I'm actually almost plugging in other products, but I had this experience the other day. It's the first time that I've gotten uh, a stack of uh, magazines from you guys. And it's not like I've got a bunch of extra money. But uh, one of the things that I always go back to is the one thing that everybody can do is obviously live the best, the cleanest, and the, and work to be a force of good in all facets of your life. And the second thing is to unlock people's minds as much as you possibly can. So I figure, you know, this is the easy way for me to go ahead and do that. Um, so... We're petitioning to just keep the police state and implement some more Orwellian measures to keep the community safe. Um, and signature two for the Nazi style police state. The, the budget cuts are just causing all kinds of problems. So thanks for supporting that. Uh -huh. They're closing parks, they're closing campgrounds, and now they're trying to cut back on the police state, and so we want to just increase the Orwellian uh, system and signature to support that. Thank you for the support on the police state. <laughs> what the fuck? This is to support the Orwellian police state, where we just want to model it after the Nazi Germany system to keep people safe and secure. So, thank you for signing the petition to support the police state. These so are Californians. They are the model of zombie. Wow. Am I, gonna, am I not making myself clear? Because of the budget restraints, they're, the police state's having some problems, so we're just going to petition city oh, council I'll give to you a good increase deal on the that. police state uh, signature there to support the uh, Orwellian police state. We want to just implement really? it a little bit more. Yeah, you find the fund money though. That's we'll find it somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. You're going to be very long. I need to drop a deuce. We're petitioning the city council to increase the police state. Uh, just a you need a print receipt there and for a taxes state too. <laughs> to, we want to model it after the the uh, Nazi Germany style police state. We're petitioning to just keep the police state and implement some more Orwellian measures to keep the community safe. Um, and signature two for the Nazi style police state. The, the budget cuts are just causing all kinds of problems, so thanks for supporting Not that. Not a problem. Thank you. They're closing parks, they're closing campgrounds, and now they're trying to cut back on the police state, and so we want to just increase the Orwellian uh, system and a signature to support that. Thank you for the support on the police state. <laughs> This is to support the Orwellian police state where we just want to model it after the Nazi Germany system to keep people safe and secure. So thank you for signing the petition to support the police state. These are so Californians. They are the model of zombie. Wow. Am I, not, am I not making myself clear? Because of the budget restraints, they're, the police state's having some problems. So. We're just going to petition city council to increase the police state uh, signature there to support the uh, Orwellian police state. We want to just implement sure. it a little bit more. Yeah, if you find the fund money, though. That's we'll find it somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> right now, let's go to Catherine in Canada. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Hey, um, I have a, I just have a theory that I want to bounce off you and see what you think. It's about Obamacare and the healthcare.gov website and all the security issues around it. Around it. I honestly think they're going to use the security issues with the healthcare website and scrap it and then implement hey, the medical RFID chip stating to the American people that this is the new secure way to get healthcare and that's how they're going to get
get people to get the chip. And I think that's why the first chief Christian, because we all know that technically the market is I think that's why the first Persecuting Christians now. Well, that's right. No, no, no. That's right. Oh, give me that car, Tom. The government releases the social security oh, numbers. They, they foster the fraud. Oh, they foster the fraud. God damn it. So that then when there's identity theft crises, they can bring in the biometrics, bring in the chips, bring in the control. The head of Google said two weeks ago, we are going to put chips in your brain, not just in your body. And if it's trendy, I mean, people will do it. I totally believe that's how, I've seen a commercial for this medical chip, but that's how they want to keep the information. And I think that's what they're doing is they're going to make the website so corrupt to make people beg for a new secure system. And that's how they're going to tell people this is the best way to do it, the secure way, get this medical chip and everybody, their health care will be fine. And I just wonder if you agree or disagree on that. Ma'am, you're absolutely on target. I totally and completely uh, agree with you. And uh, the average church will not warn anybody because they're government run. They're 501c3 and their clergy response team. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll be right back with more phone calls and a ton of news straight ahead on a host of issues, including some breaking Benghazi news, NSA news, economy news, military news, Syria news. It's all coming up. Stay with us. Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv are the new websites. You can follow me on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. So talk to a physician before you take it, okay? He goes, man, I just went to basically, he said, the wildest dreams. And that's what group says. I'm not going to get into all the stuff group says. It's like, look, point is, try it. We haven't gotten any complaints. The only complaint is if you take a lot of it like I am, you'll start detoxing. Stuff starts coming out of your skin. Starts coming out other places. And then, uh, you know... If I take a lot of it, sometimes it can give me a little bit of a stomach ache because it's detoxing. And, and Dr. Group warned that would happen. But uh, as bad as I treat myself, and I still look like a toad, but people can really see the difference. I mean, this it's 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 amazing. But that's why the elite puts the, the, the stuff on the same periodic table, the borine, the chlorine, the fluoride in there, because it literally blocks all your key glands. That's why we call it survival shield. Because it doesn't just detox you, it blocks all this other crud because it's electrical. And it goes around grabbing all that stuff. But I'm ranting. Tell me, of course you should be heading to the hills if you can. Yeah, so these people are pretty moral people. They're not racist at all. No, 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 no. It's being moral that is bad, sir. Listen, they say being a Christian, period, will get you arrested in the military now. I mean, you realize the magnitude of these people, brother. Yeah, so uh, I was playing Grand Theft Auto last night, um, that new one, and they had a Canadian like terrorist working with the civil... Uh... Hey, well, stay there, yeah. All globalist media demonizes us. So you're playing Grand Theft Auto. Every video game, and I'm not a big gamer, but every video game I, I, I read about or I see in the news, it demonizes gun owners, patriots, Christians. They're always the terrorists. They're child molesters. It's, it's, it's all over every show. The murdering, you know, killer is the good guy. The Christian's the terrorist. And this, this is what's going on, not just here, but in shows in England. Uh, and in Europe, it's the same thing. So, yes, this is a, a propaganda operation, clearly. Uh, go ahead and finish up. What did you see on Grand Theft Auto? Uh, so, uh, when I was playing it, uh, the one character is a crazy, like, Canadian. Uh, like, he's basically a terrorist because he's going to run around doing all these crimes. But he's working with a militia called Civil Border Patrol. And they, they do all sorts of, like, together uh, as a unit, they do all sorts of, uh, like, crimes and, and blow up things and stuff like that, and they're demonized throughout the game, too. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty weird that that, like, ha that happens in that game. Sir, it's all, I'd say, it's about 90 plus percent of every video game, every cop show, every popular book, everything out there is... Uh, cartoons, you know, Green Lantern fights the militia. That's the bad guy. 
like Captain America fought the Nazis. Well, Captain America fights patriots now. Damn. Five vote. This is social engineering. This is an all-out culture war. I mean, do you understand that the army officially admits that they were teaching that being an evangelical Christian is a arrestable offense? I mean, that that is that is Soviet Union, sir. I mean, the, the, the government is run by absolute red terror criminals. God bless you. And, and what everybody should do is, because I can't cover all this, you should tape a clip of that or t or show a clip of it on your computer, put it on YouTube, say Grand Theft Auto 4 or whatever it is demonizes patriots. It'll get seen by a bunch of people, then we can do a report. You get the humet off the state-run media and then respond to it. You have to battle it. And then battle it, and then we'll talk about it. When you see the programming, you have to A, respond to it, B, C, speak out against it publicly, not just on cyberspace, and then do something against the enemy.